All right, now I'm going to deal with Justin shooting straight in. All right, again, I maneuvered myself, and all of a sudden he closes the gap. If he leads with his face, go ahead and try to kick him. Again, if he leads in his face, try to kick him. A good grappler won't lead with his face. He's just going to zoom in, and now he's in the middle. Okay, now is the time to bring him into your guard. In other words, he came in the middle, and I'm just going to bring him in. Now, as soon as I bring him in, I got to watch out for those strikes. I'm going to have to neutralize him. I'm going to do so by, one, grabbing here, two, hooking by the neck, and shoving him into my shoulder. I have to prevent him from biting me. If I cannot prevent him from biting me and he starts taking chunk for me, it's going to be a liability. All right, so I'm bringing him right here. As soon as I got him here, he's going to try to maneuver. Don't fight it. Go with it. Don't fight it. He only has that one hand to work with. Maybe if he tries to hit you, you hit him back, try to kind of like calm him down. Okay, as soon as he's a little bit calmed down, anytime you shove somebody here, they're going to try to pull out. As he pulls out, you're going to give him room. Again, as he pulls out, you're going to give him room and you're going to plant your feet. From here, you're going to come out. Now watch what I did. I'm here, I contain him, I hit him, I hit him. When I start hitting here, he's going to try to come up. Give him that room, open your guard. From here, maintain this hold here, and slide your hip out. Basically, what I'm doing now, my hip is shooting that way. As I do so, I'm going to have this foot flat on the ground, and I'm going to slide my leg across until I can hook it. Now, I can't see where it is here, but I can feel it. I don't go a little bit here, all the way in until I can hook. From here, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick this leg out and sweep this leg from underneath. Don't struggle with it. Open up and bump low. Don't go here. It's not going to work. And I'm going to yank and push at the same time. Now I end up on top of him. I'm going to go one, two. My students are programmed to cover up right away. If he didn't, it will be one, two, and elbow. If he covers up, one, two, open, and then comes the elbow. As soon as you have the elbow, head, one, two, three. Put your hand on his chest, pump your way out. Out we go, one kick, and out. Again, we're here. He came in and he zoomed in. Right away, I'm going to contain him. This here, and make sure his forehead is in the clinch so he cannot bite you. Contain that hand, go with it. Don't fight it, go with it. Hit him a little bit, loosen him up. As soon as he tries to pull this way and you'll feel it, let him have that room, open up, slide in. Leg goes in, one, one, two, rip out. Elbow, one, two, three. You're going to put your hand right here and pump yourself up. In other words, pump yourself up. If somehow there's still life out of him and he goes to punch you or reach for you, then you can go right into an armbar from here, okay, from your pump. So anyway, from here, one, two, head, one, out, kick, and out we go.